Hey, what's up, Internet? It's Friday, and you know what that means. Ever ready. Mmm. It's ready. Ever ready. It's, it's so ready. This flashlight is so ready. Wait, what's that sound? Huh. That was weird. They claim 51 meters, 9 hours, 45 lumens. I have no way to accurately measure because I don't know how you measure light by the meter. Like, does the light just stop after 51 meters? I guess so. These guys want real high dollar on the back of their packaging. Just black ink only. Hmm. I wonder, you know, I wonder. Oh well, yeah, I also noticed the button's been kind of smashed up. Let's rip this piece to open and give it a look. Good. It looks like it looks like it wants to open, but it's so difficult to open. Ah. I just want it. Okay, there we go. Dang. Like it, it's got these perforated. Gee. Yo. Oh, my God. Ugh. All right, I'm pulling a muscle in my hand. This isn't working out at all. The tool that a lot of people have nowadays because of technology. Scissors. Okay. There we go. Look at that. To see stuff. <laughs> that is weak. Oh, that is weak. I think it might have been in the package for a little too long in the on position. Oh, that's weird. The front piece is what comes off. And they have these batteries. Because batteries? Oh, they're ever ready. Oh, look at that. It's got a cat. It's got a cat with a number nine. I wonder what that's supposed to signify, huh? Will these things die? Nine times before they actually die? Decent construction. I got some new batteries. I'm thinking. This thing doesn't seem so ready. Huh. Look at this. Oh. Oh, you could... Convenience. Look at that. You could dangle it on... On your wrist and or other thing upon further inspection I noticed that the back piece here also twists off this is kind of strange I'm not used to this a little little boingy little boingy thing there and you can take the batteries out this way too there's two different ways to that's weird that is just weird but I have these they're from Sam's Club because cheap ass batteries are from Sam's Club. Wow. This is just not working out. For me. Wow, okay. That works. Batteries are a pain. Well, <laughs> a pain in the butt. Yes. Positive down. Okay. Oh, an O ring. Not bad. Check that out. So the packaging, I was just not impressed. But now let's see. Okay, yeah, this is brighter. You ever ready batteries? You weren't ever ready. You were waiting. You were just waiting to have me use you. And you have these lives. Nine lives? Nine lives my butt. How do they get away with that kind of symbolism on a battery? All right, let's take this beast outside. See what it's really made of. Okay, so here I'm outside. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set up next to my RV here. It's actually, it's, it's actually decently bright. Okay, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna start like walking back from the shed. The shed is about 60 feet away from the camera, right there. Not bad. It's actually throwing out quite a bit of light. Like, upon use outside, all of a sudden, I'm thinking this flashlight is pretty darn cool. That's a decent flashlight. Huh. It's got, like, it just got a decent amount of light, this little guy. Huh. Not bad. Decent. It's got, like, 
Nice machine marks in it. I don't know though about this. Ah, oh, jeez. ML33AV3, China. That says it all right there. It just sank my battleship. Okay, so, so all in all, this is a pretty darn good flashlight. Yeah, I like it. Oh, if you're looking for a flashlight, there's a flashlight. Yep, I hope that helped. See you later, Internet.